benign disorder seen in small infants, usually from around the sixth month of age, sometimes as high as through to the third year of age. It's a characteristic triad consisting of dissociated or even monocular nystagmus, abnormal head position, and a to and fro characteristic head oscillation. Here you can see in this small infant that there's a monocular nystagmus in the left eye. It's mainly horizontal. Changes somewhat in its intensity depending on the gaze of the individual. The hallmark is that the oscillations are of low amplitude but high frequency as exhibited by this child. Note the speed of the oscillation, which can be seen here. Now what you're observing are some abnormal head positions, and occasionally you'll see some to and fro, side to side head oscillations, here for example. Note also that the child is gazing eccentrically in her eyes, and sometimes this eccentric gaze is variable. There you can see some to and fro head oscillations. Again, this disorder is benign, usually resolves after several months to as long as a few years, and leaves the infant with no sequelae. Typical spasmus nutans is not associated with an underlying CNS disorder. Here, once again, we can see the high-frequency, low-amplitude monocular oscillations in the left eye. This child has the typical nystagmus seen in spasmus nutans.